Hi there. Elizabeth Guthrie here, Director of Land Stewardship for North Florida Land Trust. Several of you have asked the question, how do you manage your lands? And I'm here to answer from my backyard. A big part of what we do here at NFLT is buy land for conservation. But another big part of our mission is taking care of that land in perpetuity, which means forever. And that's where the stewardship department comes in. Buying land can be kind of like buying a house. You go through a long process to buy it. There's a ton of paperwork to sign. And then after the closing is when the real work begins. And just like a house, conservation lands require upkeep and maintenance to keep them in good condition. But for our purposes, we're maintaining these lands not for people to live in, but for the wildlife and native plants that call these places home. And what constitutes management depends on the property, where it is, and the ecosystems found there. Our coastal marshes in Nassau County have very different needs from our upland pine forests in Putnam County. So when we first acquire a property, we do initial assessments to figure out what's there. We walk through the swamps, we look through wildlife, we identify plants, and we use all that information that we gather to develop a management plan. And management plans are kind of like instruction manuals for properties. They tell you what's there, and then they give you the tools and the strategies to manage them. And depending on the property, we might use prescribed fire, remove invasive plants, harvest timber, repair roads, or build fences to restore and protect the natural resources on site. And the day in the life of a stewardship staff person is never boring. It might include a bird survey, meeting with a forester, picking up trash someone dumped on our land, or leading a guided hike at Bogey Creek Preserve. Which brings me to public access, which is a big part of land management. A lot of you support NFLT and what we do because you support conservation and recreational opportunities for the public. So when we do those assessments I mentioned earlier, we think not only about natural resources, but also about the opportunities for public access and ways for people to enjoy our lands. But opening a public park requires a lot of money for the development and continuous maintenance. We don't have a huge staff of park rangers or maintenance workers. There are three full-time staff and a team of seasonal positions, interns, and volunteers. We want to make sure that our visitors have a great experience at our preserve, so we only open areas to the public when we feel we have the infrastructure and the staff capacity to maintain them. Bogey Creek Preserve is our public park in Northeast Jacksonville, and it's open year-round, so if you haven't been there, you should definitely check it out. Once it's safe to do so, we'll be resuming our outreach program so you can come join us on the land or on the water, and we hope that we'll see you out there. So keep those great questions coming.